Okay, so um, concerning more complex trigonometric equations, okay, here's an example where we have to solve this one without the use of a calculator. Now, actually, this one is not really more complex. It's actually quite simple. The only thing we need to recognize is that because our trig ratio has is being squared, um, our solution, when we try and solve tan, we will get more than one constant that tan is equal to. So, for example, if we divide both sides with a 3, we have to do that first before we take the square root, we get that tan squared of x is equal to a third. Okay, but now when I take the square root on both sides, please do rem to get rid of the square, do remember that that takes a plus minus. In other words, we get that tan of x is equal either equal to 1 over the square root of 3, in other words the square root of 1 over the square root of 3, or tan of x is equal to negative 1 over the square root of 3. Okay, from here on what we will do is find the reference angles and you can see we're going to have two reference angles. Okay, this is y over x so that um, I have, if I draw my triangle, I have y is 1, x is square root 3, okay, um, then that is 2, this would be the case for 30 degrees, okay, so my reference angle is equal to 30 degrees, but in this case tan is negative, well it's actually quite easy, tan is negative in the fourth quadrant, where it means my reference angle will then be negative 30 degrees, okay, because negative 30 degrees is in the third quadrant, so that's a reference angle, sorry, fourth quadrant, um, that's a reference angle in the fourth quadrant. So to continue with this, I now have that my general solution is equal to, now tan's general solution is extremely easy. It's simply x is equal to my reference angle plus 180 degrees times k. Okay, it's a very easy one. Okay. And on this side we have that my reference, that x for this one is my reference angle negative 30 degrees plus 180 degrees times k. And that's it. If this was cos and sine, we would have had another one to indicate the other quadrants where they are positive, okay, or in this case negative, but this is tan, so it makes it more easier, and uh, probably the next few will have some sines and coses in. Hope to see you there.